love your show. Um, Thank I've you. Been listening to you for about mm, a little over a year. When I first heard about you, I thought you were crazy. <laughs> you know, amazing. I, mean, and I, was, and I, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to listen to you. Uh, when I first heard you speak about racism, and I would like still get pop ups on YouTube, and I would like delete them. But then one day I heard you talk about um, forgiving your parents, and um, it made sense. And that was like two years later, and um, it was hard for me to do. And for years, I was angry with my mother um, for like the last not not for years, but like maybe for the last four years, and I couldn't understand where all my anger was coming from. But I knew that she irritated me. And when you started talking about forgiving your parents, it made sense. Yes. And um, But before I decided to forgive her, I was so angry that I had a nervous breakdown on Mother's Day. And I was admitted to the hospital for a nervous breakdown. Yep. And um, everything started coming out. They were asking me questions about, about my parents. And I'm like, that has nothing to do with why I'm here. <laughs> And he was like, actually, it pretty much does. And um, I was there for two weeks. And um, I realized that I was angry with my mother um, for a lot of things um, as far as marrying my father. She she knowingly married my father, who was a drug addict. And um, I asked her, why did she marry him? And she said, oh, I was dumb, young, I was in love, you know. And that didn't sit well with me because that wasn't that wasn't like a proper answer. Yeah. So um, I let it go, but then I started falling down a, a rabbit hole of um, having multiple abortions. Um, I've had I've had eight. I had six mis- six abortions and two miscarriages all by what? one man. Really? Yes. Yes. By your, and, a boyfriend or a husband? This was the boyfriend slash fiance. You had and, um, six abortions? Six abortions, five years in a row. And um, I had two miscarriages. The last miscarriage was last year. Um, I was going to call you. I was going to call you and make an appointment because I have a lot to talk about. And I was going to make that appointment. And I did make an appointment, but I canceled because I wasn't ready to talk to you yet. But I was shocked that I got through today. And I was like, oh, let me go ahead and just yeah, talk. Yeah. Um, and what and made so, you have the abortion? Why did you have six abortions? It was so chaotic. Like I said, I didn't know I didn't know where that anger was coming from. And I understand. I, know, I totally understand. I just, I just didn't know. And, and and people ask me that question. And the question is, is that the relationship was chaotic. Um, my my husband at the time um, we had one abortion together, and that was back in 1995. And um, but we weren't married yet, and I got I got over that abortion, um, and we ended up getting married. Um, I am divorced now. Um, I have one son with him, um, but I ended up getting with this guy, and you know he was in a fallen state as well, and. Um, Every time I got pregnant, it was just, yeah, I'm going to keep it. But then I was like, no, I don't want to keep it because I was so angry with him because it was cheating going on. There was some form of uh, physical abuse going on between the two of us. It was just chaotic. Yeah, yeah. And so last year I got pregnant in February and we were broken up. And um, I miscarried in the hospital at nine weeks. So, um, you know, that I'm just trying to forgive myself, and it's hard to forgive myself. And then I did go to my mother, and I forgave her. Yes. And she was just angry. She was just like, "Oh, <laughs> I did the best that I can do." Um, you know, your father wasn't wasn't perfect. No, he wasn't perfect. But um, listening to you, Jesse, my father is deceased. He's been deceased since 2015. Yeah. And I remember on his deathbed that he did not want me to be angry with him anymore. You see there? I forgave my father for everything that he did. But this was before I had talked to you. Right. And then the more talking to you, I even forgive him more. And I freaking love my father to death. Yep. Yep. But my mother, I'm still angry with. I'm still, I went to her and, and, and told her I forgave her, but she, I'm still angry with her. I can't get over it. How old are you, Tana? I'm, I'm 48. 48. Amazing. Mm-hmm. So listen, why do you, um, 
Are you doing my silent prayer dot video? I did it one time. My brain would not shut the hell up. I just could not keep it quiet. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> That's amazing. I totally understand. So listen, the abortions and all this stuff that you have gone through, no big deal. God is not holding that against you. He's not judging you. He's not He's not reminding you of it. He understands that. He knows that you were in a fallen state because your mother and your father wasn't there in the right way. Your mother traumatized mm-hmm. you and mm-hmm, you could yeah. not help that. That's hell. Mm-hmm. Anyone who has anger is living in hell. They're living in darkness and they can't right. see what they're doing. So, right. exactly. so now that you're exactly. waking up, don't let Satan tell you that God is holding that against you. He is not. Mm. The fact I that cry you, every day about those babies, you know, no, you every don't need to. No, you don't yeah. need to cry anymore. Drop mm-hmm. the crying because it's, okay. it's, it's only it's only going to cause you to become sad and too mm-hmm. too much sadness for too long yeah. will bring yeah. on depression. It sure will. Yeah, so don't it sure do it. Will. God for I have I haven't been with that. I'm not with the dude now. Um yeah. I broke up with him like in eighteen. I I but well, he's been trying to get back and I and no. I and I, I have hate with I have hate for him. Well don't hate him. He you can't know? help himself either. But don't get back with him. No. Yeah. No. And as far as your mother, your mother mm-hmm. is evil. And she's not ready mm-hmm. to overcome that. Her ego, which is the nature of yeah. Satan, would not let her admit that she's wrong. There is nothing exactly. you could do about it. Just realize exactly. you need to forgive her because she couldn't help it. And she recreated you in her image. That's why you were so frustrated through life. You became like her. The, yeah, I the, sure did. Yeah. So forgive her just as you couldn't help yourself. She cannot help herself. She's not ready. Forgive her. And God has forgiven you. Do the silent prayer. So when you sit and do the silent prayer, just observe those thoughts. That's mm-hmm. the light of God shining on the thought, the darkness of the mm-hmm. imagination. And he's taking care of that for you. Just observe them. No matter what happened, just observe them and you'll be fine. Because God will bring you out of the darkness into the light. Just be patient. You're on your way, Tyler. You're going to have a life that's going to blow your mind. It's I'm going to be. For it. It's going to be <laughs> as though you never had a past. Or future. You guys going to be with God and life going to be amazing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I've overcame my hatred for white people. Thanks to you. Um, yep. My daughter is 12. She loves your show. Amazing. She sings the introduction song. And she's like, are you going to listen to Jesse? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and um, I, I had to explain to her because you mentioned something out of wet about having children out of wedlock. I want to go back to Tana, a first time call out of Michigan. Been through a lot. But God is bringing her out of the darkness into the light. And this is an amazing story. And it's my blow. It makes it all worth it, folks. This is better than silver and gold. Tana, thank you for holding. Um, you were about to say something about your daughter. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, she loves your show. She, like I said, she, she sings the introductions to the song. And I work from home today about the week. So we sit down and listen to your show. And you mentioned something about um, having children out of wedlock. And yes. She had never heard that term before. And she asked me what it was, and I explained it to her. And she said, oh, well, you had me out of wedlock. Because after I divorced my husband, I got with a Jamaican, and he totally. Anyway, <laughs> that didn't work out. And, um, <laughs> and, and I'm angry about that, too, because... I, I don't subscribe to having children out of wedlock, and I don't, and I really was pro-choice at one point. Yes. Um, but after having uh, six abortions and then the two miscarriages, the eight children that, that are lost, yes. I have totally changed my mindset with that. So I told her that, um, you know, that that's not how God sees it. That's not the order of God to have children out of wedlock. And right. she totally understood it. Right on. And so then she started questioning her father as to why he did not marry me. Right on. And, um, <laughs> she did. She started questioning him, and he that didn't sit well with him. And he thought that children should stay in a, child, a child's place. She and, is um, in a child's place, asking the father. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you know, she 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 has 
I'm listening to you, she she speaks her mind. You know, she right talks on. about you know how there's no racism and you know, and she she knows that there's good and evil in everyone. Like we talk about that, and she says that to her father and anybody else who talks about this whole supposedly systemic racism thing. And she speaks her mind. And, Amazing. Um, I appreciate you for that. Like definitely. You're welcome. I'm glad I found you. I'm glad I found you. You are a phenomenal man. Phenomenal. You are changing lives like one show at a time. Um, well, I appreciate that, God. I, I yeah. never imagined, Tana, that this would be happening, but I'm grateful. Oh, man, you are phenomenal. Um, Tana, let me ask, why are you so mad good. at her father for? What are you mad at him about? Because he, he, he actually begged for a baby and he wanted a family. And I know it was out of order. I shouldn't have had the baby first. Right. At that time, I was in the fallen state. I yes. had just got divorced. Um, and, hey, you know, he, he, he's a physician. So, you know, well established, established, supposedly has his head on right. Found out that that was not the case. Um, careers don't make you a phenomenal person. That's right. Um, and he begged for a baby, and he had he didn't have any children. And um, I was like, hey, you know, let's do this. And um, ended up getting pregnant, and left me the whole nine months. I like, oh. just left, you know. And um, and he understands that I have a lot of hatred and bitterness towards him. I'm just being honest. Yes. And um, he has since apologized for that. But that's not enough for me because I'm still raising my daughter in a single parent household and she would never, ever know what it is to have a family, um, a father in the house. She would never know that. But now that and, she uh, is alert, aware, she's going to be fine. It, yeah, yeah because, I hope so. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yes. she's returned back to God, so she'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And being as though she never not had a father, she'll be fine. Yeah. But Let me ask you a question, Jesse. Yes. So, so the guy that I, I just broke up with, she truly loves him, right? Yes. And he loves her. So um, would it be detrimental to, to completely take him out of her life? Or should, it, or should she not talk to him and ever this, again? Because you mean she, her father? No, the guy that I, the fiancé that I had. Oh. He's been knowing her since she was four. Uh -huh. And she loves him? Yeah, she does. Yeah, and he, don't. And staying with him. No, don't take him out of her life. She know who her real father is, right? Most, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, don't take him out of her life. Let that work itself okay. out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And she's had some aggression towards her father because he hasn't, because he didn't make us a family, even though he's in her life. Yeah. So since listening to your show, I have told her to find forgiveness in herself yes. for her father. Yeah. Tell and her don't, to make it work. Tell her don't yeah. be mad at her father. He can't help himself. Yeah. Okay. But he okay. loved her. He loved his daughter. It's just that mm -hmm. he can't help himself. Got you. Okay. Okay, got you. And I want this guy to, and by you being mad at her father, you don't have a right to be mad at her father because whatever he did, it was wrong, but you were wrong too. And if you had not been wrong, you would not have allowed it to happen. So you have to take full blame and responsibility mm -hmm. for what you did. You can't blame mm -hmm. him for that. I understand that. I do understand that now. And once you take full responsibility, you know that it was wrong. You shouldn't have done it. You understand you're in darkness, could not see. God will. Mm -hmm. God is not going to hold that against you. But you can't blame him at all. We are all responsible as adults for our own actions. If we don't wake up and yeah. see, we suffer. So you can't blame okay. him at all. So drop the anger toward him. Okay. And don't hold it against okay. yourself either. Okay. Okay. It's enough to know that you were wrong, but it's wrong to hate yourself for being wrong. You cannot help yourself. And okay. God is God is with you, Tanya, because the only re reason that you can see where I'm coming from and you see uh -huh. that you had to go forgive your mother, you're seeing now is because God is allowing it. No human being can make you see the truth. Only God right. allows those to see the truth that he's drawing back unto him. So be right. grateful. Let all bitterness go. Stay out of your head because it's Satan in your thoughts, not God. Doubt every thought, and you're going to be fine. Your daughter will be fine, and it's going to be as though you never went through any of those things because God is not holding those things against you at all. He, under, he knows that you were blind and cannot help yourself because you were traumatized by your parents, mm -hmm. and especially your mother. You are definitely. Yeah. So forgive your mother 
but stay away from her if she doesn't change, if she doesn't repent, because she'll screw your daughter up while you're not looking. Most definitely, yes. Most definitely. I had to check her a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. do not let her be around your daughter. you got to protect your daughter now with perfect love, and God mm-hmm. is with you. And, uh, and and just be honest with your mother. You're a grown adult woman. You're not a child. Mm-hmm. You're not your mama's baby. You're not your mama's daughter. You're a grown woman. And just let her mm-hmm. know, if you don't get over the evil, you're not going to be around me or my child. Because if you let her be around her, that evil will corrupt your daughter. And she'll pull sure. you back in. Yeah, for sure. That's not going to happen, though. Do, do you suggest that I, that I get remarried in, no. the, in the future? No, no. Have a wait and see attitude. You know, do the silent prayer. Speak up, but don't resent. Stay on your head. And whatever God has in for you, it'll come about naturally. Your life will unfold. And if it meant for you to have a man in your life, he will add uh, the right kind of man. You will be able to date him without sex. And eventually you will see if this is the right husband for you. Other than that, do not look for a man. You're back with the father. You don't need a man. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it. I will be calling you to make an appointment for one-on-one, too. Definitely. I appreciate you. You're welcome, and God bless you. And say hello to your daughter. What's her first name? Madison. Madison. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Madison, you, is an, Madison is an alpha, alpha girl, not a beta girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is, most definitely. <laughs> well, tell, oh, man. tell her she made my, my heart jump for joy. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it. You take care, okay? You too. God bless you, Turner. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Amazing. I'm done. Amazing. Amazing. That's amazing, folks. Men and women, I'm not making this stuff up. Forgive, go and forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Don't go and ask for forgiveness. Don't go and apologize for what you've done because you can help yourself. You recreate in your mother's image. And she, you are the mirror of your mother. And that's why you've done all these things. Depression, sex out of wet lot, all this stuff. Addicted to porn. But go and forgive and God will forgive you and take her identity away and you will be fine. Love your fathers. If you don't love your earthly father, you would never know God. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show for us. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.